always start with Quaker oatmeal. Energy, fiber, heart health. Quaker oatmeal, a super grain breakfast. We are back now at 811 with Jersey Shore star Snooki. She is back from her whirlwind travels in Italy. Now she's opening up about the show, sharing her secrets for rocking it Jersey style. In her new book, it's called Confessions of a Guidette. Nicole, good morning. Nice to see you. You too. What have you been up to? You know, just busy with my book that I'm really excited is out today. Yeah, traveling yeah. though a lot. You guys yeah. spent a, a, a good number of weeks in Italy. And despite mm -hmm. the fact that we got all the headlines and we saw what was happening in front of the cameras, did you get a chance away from the cameras to enjoy Italy at all? Not really. I mean, the whole time we were there, it was like 24-7 filming. So right when we were done, we went straight to Jersey. So. Does that bug you a little bit that you didn't get to? I mean, that's one of the most beautiful yeah. places on earth. I mean, we saw a lot, but I would definitely like to go back without the kids and, you know, explore. How would you say that the Italians reacted to you, and how did you react to the Italians? The Italians loved us. I mean, right when we got off the bus, they were like, Woo! you know screaming and stuff um, but me to them I mean I had no idea what they were saying so I was just like okay like they could have been calling me nasty names and I was and you like have no hey. idea. as long as they were smiling while yeah, they were doing I mean, it, it sounded beautiful so. you, you have a certain style mm -hmm. to you okay do, do you think the Italian women got your style and what do you think of their style um well, I tried to like dress their style with, you know, the big hats and stuff like that, but nobody wore big hats there. I mean, the <laughs> style there was, you know, just normal. It wasn't anything really different. Now, and, but did you think they were more stylish than, than perhaps American men and women are? Um, I think the guys are definitely more stylish, yeah. Guidette, okay, the, the name of this, but you, you want to tell people how to be a guidette. Now, yeah. when I was growing up, calling someone a guido, or I didn't even know the word guidette, mm -hmm. was not the nicest thing you could call somebody. Do you see it as a as as something other than a compliment? Um, it's not really a compliment. It's a lifestyle. Like you can be punk, a prep, right. you know, gothic. We're guidettes. And so, how, guidettes. how do you define guidette? A guidette is a um, a girl with a strong personality. Um, she doesn't let anybody bring her down. She likes tanning. Um, she's very independent, and she loves to be like flashy, like gaudy. Yeah. Do, do we ever get to see? Um, Snooky, the real you on this show. I mean, I think you even said something about the fact you, that reality TV is not normal life. It's the most dysfunctional moments yeah. rolled up in a ball, in your case, mm -hmm. a meatball. So do yeah. we ever get to see the real Snooky or the real Nicole probably more appropriately on TV? Um, I think you see more of like the party side of me, which I call Snooky. That's like kind of my alter ego. Right. That's what you see on the show. But like right now, you're talking to Nicole. Yeah, it's like the soft, calm, like you know, business-ready person. Is, is this so? Is this person is Nicole a good role model for young women versus Snooki on Snooki, on TV? Snooki's definitely not a role model. Snooki right. is just there to have fun and just live her life. Nicole, um, I would say I could be a role model. I mean, I'm very strong, independent, and. Um, you know, I'm just lovable, I guess. Well, one of the things you write about in the book, you've got a chapter called Snookin' for Love. Yeah. Okay, so, which, which actually starts out funny, mm -hmm. but then you do talk about the fact that you would like to be in a relationship. Right. And, and perhaps maybe haven't made the right choices in the past. Who is the guy? Uh, and I'm not asking you to put a name on it. W what type of guy would be a good partner for you? Um, I would say right now my boyfriend is amazing. Um, I definitely like a guy that makes me laugh. Um, you know, doesn't care about, you know, this, you know, the fame and, you know, the show. He just likes me for me. He likes me as Nicole. So, um, you know, you just got to make me laugh and just keep up with me. And you got my heart. Someone with a big heart. Yeah. Who can match hearts with and you. And has a big family and loves their mom. That's right. And has to be Italian because you also say you want to have babies with an Italian because you want your kid's last name to have a vowel in it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> very important stuff. <laughs> a little picky. Nicole, it's always good to have you here. Thank you very much. And we want to mention the book is called Confessions of a Guidette. Yes. Up next, the legendary Bette Midler on how you can own some of her most iconic looks right after this.